Hi, it's me, Willow, here with my first long video. I got a bunch of plants donated to me by my aunt for my work garden. So here's a few things like parsley that I'm going to add to it. But I've got all this milkweed in here, porterweed, zinnias. All the new plants. Irrigation is laid. I don't know if you can see this. Looks like sawdust in here, but I've been sprinkling wildflower seed mix and seeds I've collected. Got them here in the tub. Just sprinkling it out there like, like snow almost. Tropical milkweed. These are all plants that were donated some sweet almonds, some porterweed down at the end. I've got a few arbors stuck in there with three different colors of passion vine. Looks like there's some senna plants in there to attract the yellow butterflies. Lots of tropical milkweed because it's so easy to grow from cuttings. Some fireweed, some fire spike, some rue. There's red porterweed and purple porterweed, pentas, some Mexican blanket flower, and I just added seed mixes from the Dollar Tree for zinnias marigolds, different colors and styles. I've also added a wildflower mix, a sunny area mix, and a butterfly and pollinator mix, and other various seeds that I've collected over the past year or two to fill in some of this grass. So far, everything's looking great. I'll give you an update once everything greens up. I'm gonna fill in here in a minute with a bunch of epidendrum reed orchids. Gotta wait until the sprinkler system turns off. Make sure everything's running good. Here's the reed orchids I'm going to stick in there. Those will have orange flowers on them. Down there is where we do our composting. Zone 9A. A raised garden, butterfly garden ideas. Follow me. Join my page to hear more butterfly tips. Butterfly gardening, native plants and other interesting facts. I'm getting ready to go plant three of my favorite native corky stem passion vines down there at the end where the arbor is, where all those other passion vines are. Bye, have a great day and happy December gardening.